Hi, I'm Sylvia Meerkat One, and this is my Honda Africa Twin CRF 1000D. Love it. We've been together for two and a half years now, and we've had heaps of adventures together. I mean, we've ridden down to Jindabyne through the middle of Sydney in the rain at night, and then right out to Birdsville onto Big Red. Yeah, we've been through a lot together, and I thought that some of you guys might be interested in the 22 mods that I've made to this bike. Number one is the Zega Pro Pannier Racks. Number two is the dual USB charging port. While I'm riding, I have my phone charging and my battery pack. So when I arrive at my destination, I have a fully charged phone and a fully charged battery pack. Number three is the Alt Riders cargo rack with the skateboard tape on it. I installed it this way up so that when I put my waterproof duffel on, it is more stable and easier to tie on. Number four, the Steg Picks. These are for bracing your legs for the short trip down to the cafe. Seriously though, you actually use it for really long trips, bracing your legs, standing up for four, five, six, seven days. You really need it. Number five is Fastway Adventure XL Pegs. These are fantastic for wide boots. When you're standing up and you're trying to shift around. It gives you that extra little bit of leeway. Very expensive though. Okay, number six. Sorry? My daughter's got one. Oh, actually? <laughs> number seven is the Golden Runway DRLs, which, as the name implies, you use DRLs during the day and at night they're wide high beams. Number eight is the Ibex steel radiator guards to protect the radiator from rocks and roosts. Number nine is the rocks fender risers, which as the name implies, lifts it up so that you can have knobbies on it. Number 10 is an in-tank fuel filter to stop any impurities going into my tank from bad fuel that I might get. Number 11 is a custom Bark Buster that I've put onto the bike where the inside aluminium is the actual Bark Buster brand and then I've gone and put the original Honda plastic guards back over the top. Number 12 are the Oxford Heated Grips, my winter riding buddies. We go everywhere together. One press of the button and my hands get warmed up. No hidden menus, nothing to fiddle around with while you're riding. And really on those freezing cold mornings, you need your hands to be warm and mobile. Number 13 is the Bat Zen adjustable bracket for the windscreen. Absolutely perfect. You can put your windscreen down when you're going on dirt roads, put it up for the highway. Number 14 is the Unifilter foam air filter kit. Australia is a dusty place and you really need them. Number 15 are the Ibex crash bars. The DCT sticks out quite a bit, so it needs a bit of protection. Number 16 is the Ibex bash plate. Bigger than the standard one, and yeah, more protection from the rocks. Number 17, folding brake lever. This is a real trip saver for me. On those rare occasions that you drop your bike, I find I can't ride home with a broken brake lever. But in this instance, you just flick it back down and off you go. Number 18 is the ram mount. I use this either to have my mobile phone on here while I'm riding, or to put my GoPro on. Number 19 is the lithium battery. Just here behind the tools, instantly saving two kilos. Number 20 is the Pro Taper bar pad. This has two major functions for me. One, when I first got the bike, the golden bars would reflect off the instrument panel and really bothered me while I was riding. This takes care of that. And secondly, if I happen to face plant, this will also protect me. Number 21, the Garmin Zuma GPS. This is my friend. We've traveled lots of places together. It never ever sends me down highways when I want to go down the curvy roads or the other way around. And it's completely independent from my phone. So if there's no phone coverage or my phone battery's flat, my friend here still works. Directly plugged into my bike for power, works all the time like a charm. Rainproof, dustproof, perfect. Number 22 are the cushion grips. I love these. They make the diameter of the bar slightly wider and with vulcanized tape on, it has a really good grip for your gloves. It makes it just a more comfortable ride. And another item, an extra thing, 
although the bike is absolutely beautiful and I love the tricolor, there wasn't enough blue. I mean, you never think that I had a bit of a blue fetish. So I had a little bit of 3M vinyl added here and here, metallic. Hey, thanks for watching this video on the mods I made to my bike. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please press the subscribe button down below and um, yeah, I'll try and make some more for you.